What is going on guys and girls, welcome back to another video. Today is V-Day, the release day of the brand new Nintendo Switch. I am so excited, I've just got home from work. Actually, story is, I went to pick this up at midnight last night. Uh, got home at probably about 1 in the morning. Had to go to work for 6.30 in the morning. And uh, now I'm back, it's 1 in the afternoon and I'm ready. I've been thinking about this all day while I was at work. And now I'm here to finally get my hands on this thing. I've actually never seen one of these in real life, so I don't really know about the size of these things, how they feel, anything like that. So um, it's a pretty exciting day. I'm, this is like a first-hand experience. I've never seen anything about it. So and this is kind of like the way I like to do things, to just kind of like keep away from all the hype. I mean, I have been following bits and pieces, um, but um, when it comes to specs and um, just the way you've unboxings and stuff like that, I've just keep, kept away from everything and I just want to experience it for myself. So here's the box, you've got your uh, Switch in the front. We went with the Neo one, I've actually got two of these bad boys and um, I only can open one so never mind. And uh, yeah, just what the packaging looks like. Um, pretty cool, looks very nice, tells you what it comes with. Uh, comes with the um, Joy-Cons, uh, obviously the tablet screen and uh, I'll show you guys once we get inside the box. But um, folds open, very unfolds very nicely, and um, once you open the box, this is the first thing you're going to see inside. You'll see your um, your uh, handheld there with the Joy Cons. It looks really nice, packaged very nicely. These things retail at 280 pounds here in the UK, to be precise, 279.99. And um, wow, this thing is actually it feels like there's a bit of weight to it. I know people say it's lighter than the. Uh, Gamepad that's lighter than the um, 3DS, I believe they've said. But just pick it up. Maybe I just haven't picked my 3DS, 3DS up, up in a while. But um, screen is tiny. This is definitely smaller than I expected. Now, um, compared to the gamepad, which is right behind me, damn, there's a lot of dust in this thing. Screen is actually around the same size. I don't really know the exact measure measurements, but um, they look similar in size. This is the gamepad. This is a switch, so it's a lot smaller. Once you attach those Joy Cons, obviously this thing is gonna get a little bit bigger. And um, we'll go ahead and do that in a moment. This is the uh, Joy Cons here. You got your left and your right. Uh, we went with the Neo just because it's kind of it's more of a popular one to go for. Um, plus, there's a nice bit of color. Most of my consoles are just plain black, so it's nice to throw in some color there. Uh, cool thing about these analogs, you can actually click them in. Um, I'm not sure if they've done that. Okay, they actually did do that with the gamepad. My bad. Yeah, it just shows how long I haven't picked that thing up in. I'm not saying it was a bad console, loved my Wii U. Uh, really loved playing the remakes of the Zelda games in there. Um, it was great fun. But then after, I don't know, a short period, just, just not much came out for it and I just kind of, I don't know, kept myself away because it's been a good year for PS4. So that's kind of part of the reason as well. You mean you've, got, you've had a ton of games on PS4 this year so far and they all look so promising. So um, it's going to be hard to balance uh, Zelda and um, PS4, it's going to be hard to balance things, but um, I'll manage, I'll manage. So here's your little, um, I'm not sure what you call these, but they're maybe like your Joy Grips, I believe. You get two of them, one for each one. Um, we'll try and attach one now. We're actually going to open one of these up and um, see if we can get this thing on. So here's a nice little close-up of what this thing looks like. Really pretty and um, yeah, probably around the same size I imagine they'd be. And uh, they, they feel good in your hands, they don't feel too small. It's got some sort of like button here, shaped as a D-pad. Um, I'm not really sure what this button does. It's got a home button also. You've got your traditional um, A, B, X and Y buttons there. With your analog, you've got your trigger button at the top. Two trigger buttons in fact. Uh, your ZR and your R button right trigger. They feel really nice in the hand. And the little D-pad I was talking about is just there. Um, I'm not really sure what that's going to trigger but We'll slide in, this is how you slide these things in. Bam, there we go. So it actually works really nicely. And um, cool, so now I believe we actually slide it in. Maybe that actually helps to give you like a better grip maybe. And then you can just slide it into the um, little tablet here. I'm not really sure how that's done. Okay, we're not good at this. Maybe we should have watched a few videos before this thing came out. Alright, um, lock is on. Okay, I don't want to break anything here.
Okay, it's actually quite a complicated console, so you don't actually need this on when you slide it in here. I think you just slide it on without, and that goes in really nicely. To get it off is the problem for me here. Um, let's see. Okay, simple, it's simple. There's a little button on the back we just hold in, and we can slide this thing right off just like that. So we're going to put that back in because we want to see both of them uh, in play. And uh, we'll go ahead and do that now. But I'm slicing a lot nicely, uh, easier to put in than it is to take out. Not that taking out is an issue, both works nicely. And here it is in hand, so it feels really nice. Uh, this thing does have a better screen than the gamepad, so definitely excited about that. And um, here it is up close. Really, really pretty thing. Also comes in black, don't forget. And the back of it there has got the Nintendo Switch logo. And you've got like a matte black finish there. All your, um, you got your speakers on the back as well. So really, really cool handheld. Really, really excited for this. Um, on the other joystick, you just have your uh, D-pad here. Uh, funny little D-pad. Um, all the buttons are spaced out. You've got your analog stick as well. And you also have uh, something here. Uh, I'm not really sure what that indicates. Maybe it's for Amiibos. I'm guessing. Uh, you can see it just there. Okay, so on the handheld of the Switch, I'm not really sure what the official name is, but yes. Um, we'll go through a few of the features here. We have the power button on the top of the uh, system. If you can see that there, we also have the um, volume button here, volume control, which is pretty cool. Followed by, maybe this is like a fan for the system. You've got your headphone port right there. And then you have your game card slot. So the slots in these games are gonna work similar to the uh, beta um, game cards, if you guys have seen those, very small. Um, look like memory cards almost and um, pretty pretty cool and uh, no discs here all cards so it's a pretty cool feature uh, we also have the charging port I believe at the very bottom of the system and uh, last but not least I believe is the um, little stand for the system if you want to play tabletop mode which will be right there you just flick it out lay it down and you're ready to play so it feels a little bit flimsy I would say uh, I definitely recommend being careful of it not forcing it um, but it looks cool I mean I've, I'm sure if you if, if you take care of it it should last forever and one thing I've just found out after flicking this up you also have a micro SD port just underneath the stand if you can see it there and then BAM close it up and uh, you're all safe into the, the more boring stuff inside this unboxing uh, we have the um, little holder case here when you want to play uh, TV mode you just slide this inside bam and there you can get to playing on your TV so fits in really nicely uh, I believe that may actually charge the console as well not 100% sure but um, awesome you have the uh, Okay, you got a little bit of case on the back here. Okay, cool. USB AC adapter and HDMI out. So there we go. That all goes inside there. So this is obviously going to sit in front of your TV. So it uh, almost works as like the uh, actual console. And um, what else we got here? We have the. Um, uh, I'm not really sure what you call this thing. The Joy Grip. Um, I'm not sure what you call it, but um, really nice design here. You actually put the Joy Cons inside we'll quickly unplug these there's a lot going on here guys a lot going on so yeah you just slide them in there just like that and um all looks beautiful this actually feels we should really quickly slip the other one in just to see how it feels in our hand because i know there is like the pro controller they have for this it's actually quite expensive uh, which is why they actually buy this uh, day one uh, i'll probably get it along down the line or something i know they say zelda is the, is the best way to play but I thought I'll see how this feels for myself before going into any of that. And this thing actually feels okay, not as bad as I expected. Um, it feels a little bit uh, smallish in a way. Uh, I don't have the largest of hands, so maybe it will be an issue for people with larger hands. Maybe the uh, Pro Controller is the way to go. But um, it feels okay, it feels pretty good. And um, as like a charger free pad thrown in, it's pretty nice. I mean, looks cool it looks very unique kind of love that and um yeah i mean if you do have the money definitely get the uh, pro controller 
uh, will definitely be worth it. But this thing is a good alternative. You can even play with just the Joy-Cons, it depends how you want to play, you can even just play handheld mode. I'm definitely going to be starting with TV mode, and then I'll, I'll take it out and then just see what, how it works uh, around the house and stuff like that, just to get a feel for it, see how it looks, because I know visually, it um, I believe it's 900p on the uh, Switch, uh, on TV mode with Zelda, and then it may actually go to 720 or uh, something like that. But it does downgrade anyway, that's what I'm trying to say, it does downgrade when you play on this screen alone. So, maybe a better experience to play on your TV, but then again, playing anywhere you like is also a great experience, so I guess it depends on personal preference. And um, yeah, pretty cool controller, there we go, and the back, very nice. And um, you've got your manuals here, you have your uh, cables, and then you have your AC adapter. So we're not really going to unbox any of that, uh, unless you guys will quickly unbox this one. I mean, I'm going to plug this thing in anyway, uh, just to give you guys an idea on the length of this uh, adapter, of the, of the cables. Uh, maybe you're curious about that. Um, I wouldn't know exactly how long it is, but I would say maybe a meter, uh, maybe over a meter in fact. Uh, maybe it will tell us here. Oh, no, we're not going to spend too much time faffing around. But um, it's pretty lengthy, it's pretty lengthy, I'm sure you'll have no problems with that. So uh, cool, there we go. And there was one more cable. Bam, here it is. And uh, that's your HDMI. So maybe this one is about a meter long. So awesome, that's everything there is to it. Uh, really excited about this. We're going to quickly throw those Joy-Cons back in size. The uh, handheld. I keep calling this thing the handheld, I'm just giving it all my own names here. I'm sure it's got the official name, but um, yeah, we're just not up to date yet. We'll find that eventually, we'll find that eventually. Just to give you guys a size comparison, this is the Switch, this is the gamepad. It's much smaller in size, feels great in the hands, and um, yeah, a very, very promising console. Really excited about this. Let me know down below if you guys pick one of these up day one, and let me know what games you are mostly excited for. I'm sure Zelda is one of them. That's the only game I've picked up day one, which there will be an unboxing for straight after this video, so be sure to check that out. But yeah, Zelda is all I've got. I do want to check out Bomberman. Um, Snipper Clips is something I really want to get. I was hoping for a physical copy. It's only a digital download, which I probably will download anyway. I'm not a fan of downloadable games, but hey, I've got no choice here. And it looks like a really fun co-op game, so I'll we'll definitely check that out. But that's going to be all for this video. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Thank you for watching, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you all next time. See ya!